Hi, I'm Shelly Levet with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you greeting card puzzles. This is really a simple um, activity to make. You just need to have old greeting cards and you could even get those at the dollar store. Walmart has a dollar section. You could ask parents to bring in old greeting cards that they have that they're no longer using or even ones that, they, um, that they've received. Um, you could just still use those because you, you only need to have the front uh, piece of that. You would take a greeting card and you would cut off the front page of it and then you would glue it on to a sheet of colored cardstock paper and not construction paper, that's too thin, colored cardstock paper. Cut it out so there's a border around the card. This is the front of the card and then this is the sheet of colored cardstock paper. Then you would laminate that after you cut off the, uh, you would laminate it, excuse me, and then we cut off the extra uh, lamination that's on the sides of it and then you would slice it to where you want it. This is a simple four piece puzzle. And for slicing I don't use scissors or for cutting I don't use scissors on these. I use a paper slicer that many scrapbookers use. I use it because the edges will be straighter on these which is nice to have when you're making puzzles. So, and on the back of these, I put self-adhesive magnets. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to have magnets to hold things in place. It's better for the children when things aren't sliding around so they can put them where they want them. Uh, and this is just a metal cookie sheet picked up from the dollar store. You can have these in a bag or an envelope and then a child would take it out. You could use this as a self-select activity. Take it out and then they would try to figure out how to put the pieces together on here and again this is for a four piece so that would be good for younger children and they would put that together so you could have them where they're cut this way another thing you can do is have it cut the other direction like this and again there's some really cute cards out there you just want to make sure they're pro appropriate for um, the age level of the children in your care and parents are always a great resource if you um, cannot get the cards yourself. Like that. Okay, so that was the one that's cut the other direction. Again, this is a four piece puzzle. And on the back of here, I have the self adhesive magnets. And then this is an example of a six piece puzzle here, which can be more challenging. move this up a bit. But children really enjoy these types of activities. Um, they like to put things together. They like to see the finished product of it. And let's see. Um, like that and then like that. See even for me a six piece one was challenging. So there you have it for greeting card puzzles. I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com and thanks for watching.